Hey, how's it going? This is Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. So welcome along. In this video, we're going to make something interesting that I actually saw in a post on Reddit quite a while back. It was about five months ago, in all fairness. Uh, but it was basically, it's a chess set. And it's made up of two different projects from Thingiverse. But in the post, it was uh, printed and then all put together as one thing. And it looked great. And there was a nice combination of the colors. And I thought I would give this a try. I wanted to know what was involved and in all of this. So this is what we're gonna do. All of the relevant links to all the things I've used are all in the description. So if you wanna know where anything's from, check out in there and you should find your answer. Short of that, leave a comment and ask a question. Can't hurt, can it? So let's get on and print some pieces. Okay, so basically what I've done there is forgot to clean the print bed before starting the print. So some of the pieces didn't stick and popped off the bed. Now, because obviously there was some that were good, that's why I decided to just leave it running. But uh, so I've managed to salvage all but four. So therefore I will have to do those in another run. white pieces done let's get the white board pieces done okay that's all of the white bits done now I want to do the other parts in green yeah my nice RMF green yeah let's do it like that okay so this one went wrong again. And I actually, the reason for this is different to why the first ones went wrong. So what actually happened with this one is that the filament got jammed a little bit for a very short period of time. And it meant that for a little while it was printing with no filament. So it went ever so slightly up and then suddenly whatever reason it cleared and it carried on. And what that meant was it meant left this little kind of gap that wasn't sticking properly. And then halfway up, a load of them fell over. But the actual bases were still stuck to the bed. So the adhesion was fine. It was just the broken bit. So, okay. This leaves me a problem because I now don't have enough green left to do everything, the board pieces and everything else. So I'm going to have to come up with another color. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, my gold's looking pretty sweet. So I'm quite pleased with this so far. Now, all we've got to do is somehow pop all the pieces together and see if it actually fits. I'm sure it will.
And there it is, all done and dusted. And I have to admit, I think that's come out really well. It's really big. It's surprising just how big this is when you think printing all the parts, when you then put it together, it's absolutely massive. So yeah, you need a, a fairly decent sized table if you're gonna keep it somewhere. Anyway, and don't worry about this guy at the back here, that's printing my uh, Mark III uh, S upgrade parts right now. So that will be coming soon. And yeah, then the printer will get a bit of an upgrade. And that'll be interesting to see how much better it then is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. This was quite a fun little project. Uh, I did, I thoroughly recommend Go in the description, get the links to this thing. If you've got a printer, print it out yourself, have a go. The one thing I will highlight is that this has taken me around about four days worth of printing. There was a lot. Obviously I had quite a few failures, which you saw. These could have actually been avoided, but it is what it is. It's come out really well. I think it was worth the effort. Really pleased with it. And yeah, please uh, check out the other videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and like the video and leave a comment for some information for me. Have a chat, talk to me about something. I don't care what, anything. Right, see you in the next video. Bye for now.